All right, let's go to this conversation now. Former Johannesburg Mayor Herman Mashaba is under fire. Several political parties in the city of Johannesburg have laid criminal charges against the former mayor and other members of the DA. This is in connection with a device that they say was used to allegedly spy on opposition parties. Now, members of the minority political parties, including Al Jamaa, for example, have opened a case of defeating the ends of justice. And, of course, they say now they want accountability. Let's get more on this particular conversation. We have Councillor Margaret Arnold's Minority Opposition Chair, AIC Joburg Councillor as well, and Councillor Tabelo Ahmed, al Jamal Joburg Councillor. Thank you so much to you both for your time. I'll begin with you, uh, Councillor Arnold. What exactly happened here? Um, good evening to you and good evening to the viewers and listeners out there. What has happened here is that um, 2016, um, Herman Mashava was the mayor of the city of Johannesburg. And uh, during that period, we did not know that Mashava had procured a machine or a grabber that could um, get information from uh, councillors as well as um, quite a big radius in the city which meant that all the uh, city officers that were outside of the city, of, of the precinct of the council chambers, um, could have, that he could have access to that. And we also knew that he had a person that he employed as, as, as for chiefs. And um, at that time, Mashaba was on quite a big witch hunt where... Um, people that were employed in the city were perched all the time. And we had this discussion and debates within council and said to him that what you are doing is not right, but still being unaware of, of this grabber. And this information, what kind of information was being collected here? Whatever. When you're on your phone, the grabber could get all the information that was on your phone. The grabber would get information that was on your laptop. It would get everything, you know, it's, it's, it's almost as if um, they planted the spyware in everybody's um, gadgets. So it could, get, it could get any information it wanted to get from any gadget that you used in the city. And for you, um, Councillor Tapelo, how then did this information come forward to say now there's this device and it is allegedly doing what Councillor Arnold is, is, is suggesting. Thank you so much. Uh, good evening to you and the viewers at home. Thank you. Uh, you should remember that uh, seated here, we are councillors mm. democratically elected in council, and it is our role to do oversight. So we do oversight on each and every municipal entity that is in the city of Johannesburg, including city officials, in terms of service delivery. So. This is how we knew about this issue. Uh, we had issued the statement uh, pursuing uh, the media out there because we understood exactly that as council, as councillors in council, we are being frustrated and, and, and avenues that are in council, uh, they are being, we are being suppressed. So we pursued the matter, uh, we issued the statement and the statement went out there, there was at least a minimum noise and awareness. Uh, so office, city officials, they, they, they grabbed the story, they ran with the story. And then following that, um, obviously, we can't, we can't drop names. We are councillors. We can be hidden whistleblowers. We are public servants. So we need to be in public and create more awareness about this issue. So this is how we came to know about this spyware. I'm listening to you, so are you then saying that this intention to purchase this grabber was never made public or tabled before council it for was, an approval or debate? Thank you so much. It was never made or tabled to council for approval and debate. Of course, yes, it was never. So it was hidden uh, and it is still is hidden. Um, so we, we, we knew about it nonetheless. We, we came to know about it. And, and, and the, the purchase of this machine, it was over half a billion. And this is taxpayers' money, uh, sadly so. You'd know the policy of the Democratic Alliance, which is a, 
a zero percent tolerance on corruption. Mm -hmm. So by virtue of them hiding this particular machine, it is, it is an indication that uh, none of us is immune of that corruption. So we need to ask questions to say, how did they even manage to bring this machine? How did they even manage to, to, to succeed with this arm steel and smuggle this particular grabber in the country? Because the state itself, which is South Africa, it, it doesn't have it and it is counterintelligence. And, and it, it, it poses a threat to, to the residents and it is in contravention of Poppy Act. Uh, Councillor Arnold, one of the things that I was reading about here is that, um, you know, there are some within council who are saying that the current mayor is not moving on this, is not um, acting on this. Is that your experience? Can you say that you have been getting some joy there? No joy whatsoever. She simply doesn't want to listen to us. Um, there are reports that are supposed to come to council, which has not come to council, especially on this matter. And for us, that is problematic because one, as uh, Councillor Amat has said, it never came to council for us to, to, to debate about it and whether we wanted it or not. It was just uh, brought in, it is there. And now that we have started exposing it, it's also like the mayor says, well, um, do what you want to, but I'm not going to do that. But we also know she, uh, she was part of, of his executive at that time she was a member of the mayoral committee. And we also know that um, within that time, um, Mashaba allowed her to have the field ban, which was about 11 billion, million. Million, 11 million for the field ban to do um, what we call um, drug abuse, you know, for drug abuse and drug awareness. And uh, we believe that because of that, um, she is now protecting him and protecting what he has done. I'm keen to get your response on this one because we did ask him, um, Mr. Mashaba, that is, uh, to either be uh, a part of the conversation or talk to him afterwards. And one of the things he said to our producers, and I'm going to read and I quote, as much as I was not asked a right of reply by the paper, he's talking about the Star newspaper that first ran the story. I said, whatever these people are smoking, I advise them to stop because it is dangerous for their brains. <laughs> I don't even know what they are talking about. Mm. Just wasting time of our criminal justice system. How do you react? <laughs> Thank you so much. Remember, this is in um, independent state organs, which is the Office of the Public Protector, the Chapter 9 institution, which has full right to protect us as the community. And these were the recommendations done by the Office of the Public Protector to say uh, criminal charges has to be opened against Herman Mashaba. And, 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 and counsel, the speaker and the mayor, the executive, they didn't open criminal charges. And you would know following uh, the sequence of events, I think two days back, the, the Office of the Public Protector has actually laid charges against mm. Uh, Herman. So there's, there's an inquiry that has been opened in the police station. So we talk about the inquiry in the police station, I'm, and I'm certain because um, there is now a case, right? And I think there would be evidence that 100%. is put forward before the police. Councillor Arnold, would you say that there is proof of this? You are satisfied that this proof is going to be sufficient to prove your case? And what proof then would have been submitted to the police? Well, we, we, we are definitely very certain. Um, as um, Councillor Tapello has said, that um, there were whistleblowers that has uh, come out with this outright. So we are confident that there will be evidence uh, in front of the, uh, the, the, the criminal um, justice. And we also believe that we are not on a witch hunt here. We are not. We're definitely certain that something is going to happen. And it's not only the, uh, the, the public protector that has laid charges, but also us as minority opposition, and also the ANC has laid charges. And I think if, if Herman Mashaba says we are smoking something, definitely we are probably smoking his socks right now. Um, and listening to what Councillor Anil just said, I'm keen to hear though, what kind of proof has been put before law enforcement agencies and the public protector? Look, look uh, this matter was pursued in 2017. Uh, 
and the SSA came and they did their due diligence or the investigation, which is the state uh, security. And then they later came, which is this year, after we followed up with the matter. And they realized that actually the machine, they call it the TSM. Uh, there, there are those correspondence from the SSA, the state security, with the office of the executive mayor. So they've done that due diligence and, and they also made the recommendations that the city of Johannesburg indeed has to open criminal charges because they need to bring forth all the names of the people that uh, were trained to operate this machine because as the SSA, they, do not, they did not train anyone in the city of Johannesburg who's operating this particular machine. Is there a link, though, with what we saw um, happen to General Sibia? Is there a link here? Because we also saw, um, you know, that report where he was suspended and all of that and sus subsequently came back. And now there is this happening. And I remember your political party in council saying that it has no faith in, in General Sibia. So is there a link at all with Look, what's happening now? Uh, it's interesting that you are dropping that name. Um, the matter is sub judicare, it's in court. Uh, I'm taken to high court as the first uh, respondent and the political party as the second respondent. So there's a case that is ongoing between myself and uh, uh, the name that you've just mentioned. Uh, so I wouldn't divulge the details on that particular case. But for now, let's focus on Herman Mashaba. And then if, if you want further contents, I'll, I can even ask our legal representative to avail themselves mm -hmm. so that they can give proper context in, in, in terms of what's happening with that case and how far are we, the status quo of the case. All right, let me thank you both for coming in. And I'm hoping that now we'll probably might get more answers as to what exactly may have happened yeah. here and see what law enforcement agencies say because Mr. Mashaba seems to suggest that there's nothing here um, of the sort that happened and you say there is something that happened. So keen to see how this one develops. Thank you so much to you both for coming in. We do appreciate it. Uh, that was uh, the councillor uh, Margaret Arnold. She's uh, the minority opposition chair as well as an AIC councillor in the city of Johannesburg as well as councillor Tapelo Ahmad, Al-Jama uh, Joburg councillor. So let's see what happens then with this particular matter.